Hi everybody. Today I'm going to teach you a game from Baksha Games called Little Drop of Poison. It is a 3 to 8 player card game. So let's get started and take a look at what's inside the box. Inside the box we have a deck of cards with three different types of card. So let's see what each one of these are. So first up we've got the purple deck here. Now in the purple deck there are drops of poison. Four different colors here. We've got blue, red, green, and purple. Of each one of those colors you could get one, two, or three drops of poison. Also you'll notice that my box here says, see if we can focus, whoops, now with antidotes. Now with antidotes. So I was told that this is a later printing of the game that the original uh, game did not have the antidotes and the difference is um, from these cards I just showed you in the purple deck you also have multicolor poisons so these would be with the antidotes version <clears throat> excuse me and of course the antidotes so there are two different types of antidotes you have the single color antidotes so this would be the blue this would be the purple and you have a wild antidote and I'll show you how these play out a little bit later that brings us on to the brown deck. The brown deck is your peasant deck. Um, it is your player shows you what you're going to be for the round. You have different rats, which are gray, and you have different weasels. They're all dressed a little different. And that brings us to the last deck, which is actually the gold. There's only two cards. You have the weasel king and the rat king. So now let's get into setup. First thing you do is shuffle these two cards to figure out who the king is for the round. I do it like that, flip it over, and we have a rat king for this round. Next, you would take your brown deck, which are your rats and weasels. We want to shuffle these up real good, um, and it depends on your player count. Um, how many we deal out, obviously, but you always shuffle, no matter how many players, the entire deck. So let's say that we're going to set up for a three-player game. So I'm going to deal one here, one down here, and one over here. So for this game, we have two rats, one weasel, and a rat king. Next, take our purple deck. And we shuffle these up. Admire my amazing shuffling skills. And we start the round by dealing two cards. You can deal them one at a time. You can deal them two at a time, however suits you. And now we are ready to begin. So, let's start with this player over here. This weasel. And what they want to do. Now before I get into what we're going to do, let's talk about why we're going to do it. The object of the game is the first one to get to 10 points. The way we earn points are by um, assassinating either the king or other people that we're playing with. If I am playing as this weasel, if I assassinate or poison and kill um, another rat that is opposite of me, since I'm a weasel, the rats are opposite, if I assassinate and kill one of these two, I will get one point. If I kill the rat king, I would get three points. If there was another weasel in the game and I killed the weasel, I would get zero points. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why would I want to do that? But there are instances where you might want to knock somebody out of the round because they're getting close to winning the game. So, if I'm playing as this rat, the same thing goes. If I kill this weasel, I get one point. If I kill this rat, though, since the king is the same as me, I don't get the three points, I actually get two points. So if I'm a rat, two points. If I'm a weasel, three points. If I am this rat and kill this rat, zero points. And if I am this rat and kill this weasel, one point. So, now we know the object of the game, and we know what we're trying to do, how do we accomplish that? So let's take a look. If I am this weasel, I have poison. So currently I have three drops of red and one drop of purple. To kill any peasant it takes three drops of the same color of poison. To kill any king it depends on your player count. 
Now, for the three to four player game, as I have set up here, it would take five drops of the same color of poison to kill the king. For a five player game, it would take six drops. A six player game would take seven drops. Seven to eight player game would take eight drops of poison to kill the king. The peasant's drops never change, they always stay the same. So, if I am this weasel, and I can see that I'm in a precarious situation, because I have two rats that are probably going to try to kill me, I have a couple options. Right away, I can kill one of them by playing these. So let's say that's probably what I want to do. That way I want to at least get out of this round with a point. So you play your cards face down, and we usually play them sort of like that, so I remember that I played mine towards this person. So, over here, we have this rat. Now they have two green poisons and an antidote. Remember, you can play one, two, or up to all of your cards. I just said one or two for this round, but it, in further rounds, as I'll show you, you can get more cards. You have to play them in the same position. I can't play one card on the king, one card on the weasel. I have to play them either both here, both there. I have to play one here, whatever. But what I and uh, what I can also do is I can play a card on myself. That could be beneficial, especially in this case where I have a antidote. Now, no, there's no poison. There's no cards played on me right now. So probably what I want to do is just take this, take this double poison, play it on the king. Hope I can get some points later on. And now on to this rat down here. He knows that he has already got two played on him, so he's probably not going to make it out of this round. Also, he doesn't have any antidotes in his hand. He's only got this. So his only hope of getting some points, since he cannot kill the weasel, is to hope that that card uh, is enough that if he plays his cards, he can get some points as well. So he's going to throw his cards down here on the king. So what you have to do is just for this one turn, one one phase in each round, um, you have to remember where you played your cards. So all the cards resolve simultaneously. So this rat only played one card, so they have a card for next round. This weasel played them both. This rat played them both. So we'll flip all these over. See who got poisoned, if anybody survived. Okay. So right away we see that this rat got three drops of red poison this weasel contributed to the poison and killed him if this was only played this round for instance and there was only two drops sorry for the glare there if there was only two drops of red poison played on him this would stay and if next round for instance this rat killed this rat this weasel wouldn't get any points you have to kill, to get points, you have to kill them in the round you've played the poison. So this would just become community poison at that point. Since it wasn't, there's three, this rat is dead. We do this so that way nobody remembers to deal to them. And this is discarded. So, this weasel has already started off with one point. There's three drops of green, two drops of red poison, towards the rat king that does not kill the rat so we would continue to the next round with these two players remaining so we would deal two cards again put two here whoops two here and now this one has three cards because they have their one from the previous round remember so we do not have enough to kill the king so you have a couple options here Hoping to get in on green, he could throw this one down and just hope that this one plays enough in green and then they would both get points. Or he could play the wild antidote down and wipe everything out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. We'll take a look here and I'll also show you what that antidote would have done. So this rat has a couple of different options as well they can throw in on the green and hope that that's what the weasel played. They can cure them both. And let me sh do this and I'll show you different scenarios of how each one of those would play out. So if this is how we played them, 
this would flip and this would flip. We've got one, two, three, four, five green poisons. Five is enough in a three player game. The Rat King would die and the round would end. The scoring would go like this. This weasel would get three for killing a Rat King. This rat would get two for killing a Rat King. The weasel would end the round with four. This guy down here ends the round with zero. And this guy ends the round with two. So that's how that would go because it doesn't matter who played these. They were previous round. It matters who played the killing poison in the round that the person was killed. So let's play this out a little bit different. Let's say that this one was played instead. So what a wild antidote does, it wipes out all of the previously played poisons and itself and is discarded. So this is what it would look like going forward if we had played this wild antidote. Everything's gone and then the king is open to be poisoned for the next round. Okay, so that's how that could have played out. Let's do it the other way. So we had this out. Get that back over there. Let's say that this guy played these two instead. So what would happen is all green and red antidotes, or all green and red poisons would be removed. This one doesn't count, but we'd leave it out there because the poison or the purple's still active. These, however, stay in play for future rounds. So, anybody puts a red or a green on the Rat King going forward, it would not hurt them at all. It would not count towards poison. So, these weren't played. We know how it played out. They were killed. So, that was your scoring. And what I'm going to do is show you how to start a second round. So, the first thing we do is grab all the cards grab our kings and we start it over just like we did before which one is it which one is it rat king again obviously i'm not a very good shuffler take these again a bunch of these there's a lot of cool little artwork different things sorry about the glare again these are some shiny cards you can kind of see in the detail these are pretty tough cards um And we throw these out again. So, whoops. One, two, three. That was exactly the same. Let's say we did it this way. And so this person's a rat. This person is a weasel now. And this person is a rat. And we go around again. Two, two, and two. And that is how you play Little Drop of Poison with antidotes. Darken that up. There we go.